Hi guys, welcome back to the Home and Homestead. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Rebecca, and today we'll be doing some Thanksgiving leftover recipes. We'll be using our leftover turkey to make some turkey chili, or I've also seen a similar recipe called white lightning chili. You may have leftover turkey for Thanksgiving or the holidays. This is a great way to use it up for a delicious and flavorful meal you can have for lunch or dinner, or even for game day. So let's head to the kitchen and start using up some of our leftover turkey. All right, so the first thing we need to do for making our turkey chili is cook up some onions with some olive oil. So I have my Dutch oven here and I will add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And to that I'll add about two cups of onion that I've chopped up. It's about one large onion. Add a little salt. That'll just help the onions to release some of their liquid. So we'll let these onions saute for a bit and then we'll add some more ingredients. Now that these onions have been sauteing for a little while, they're starting to become translucent. We'll add two teaspoons of minced garlic. We'll mix that in. Let that garlic cook just for a little bit so that it becomes fragrant. Mmm, smells good. All right, now we'll add our leftover turkey. So I have four cups of turkey and I kind of tore it into the size pieces that I wanted for our chili. You can use white meat, dark meat, whatever you'd like. So I'll we'll add the turkey in. We'll mix the onions and garlic with that turkey. Now we'll start adding some seasonings. First we'll add two tablespoons of cumin. And two tablespoons of chili powder. And one tablespoon of oregano. I'll mix these seasonings in here. I'll let that cook just for a little bit so that those seasonings that we added can start to release their oils a little bit. Now we're going to add some heat. So we're going to add some jalapeno peppers. You can use two to four jalapeno peppers. If you don't like it spicy, you can remove the membranes and the seeds and that will help take down some of that heat. If you like things really spicy, you can also throw in some serrano peppers. So I have two jalapenos and two serrano peppers that I have coarsely chopped up and we'll add them in here. And we'll just mix them with the turkey and onions and all the nice seasonings that we've added here. Next we'll add two cups or a pint jar of diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, or your favorite tomato sauce. You could also do whole tomatoes, whatever you have on hand. If you purchase from the store, just do one can. If you can your own, you can use a pint jar's worth. I'll mix that in there. And then we'll add four cups of chicken broth or vegetable broth right in with our chili. So now we're going to let the base of our turkey chili come up to a simmer and we'll let this simmer for about a half hour. Then we'll come back for adding the final ingredients. All right, so this has been simmering for about 30 minutes. And you can really smell the cumin and the chili powder and the oregano. It smells really good. So now let's add some beans. So I have two cups or one pint jar of Great Northern beans 
and you can do another can or a pint jar or two cups of a chili bean or black bean or whatever you would like. I'm using Great Northern beans and black beans because I home can them. You can check out my videos on how to can Great Northern beans and black beans if you're interested in home canning beans as well. And they work great for things like this. So I'll add our beans here. And if you're using store-bought beans, just do one can of whichever type of beans you would like to use. I like the look of the Great Northern Bean with the black bean. But if you prefer chili beans or you happen to have them in the pantry, use them. So now we're going to add some salt and pepper, but I want to give this a taste. So I'll add one teaspoon of salt. and a half teaspoon of pepper. You don't have to, but for turkey chili or white lightning chili, I like to use white pepper. But black pepper is just fine as well. We'll just be adding the salt and pepper to taste. So now we're going to let our turkey chili with the beans and salt and pepper added, we're gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll bowl up some of this chili and have a taste. All right, guys, here you have it. Here is our turkey chili made from leftover turkey. This is a great versatile recipe that you can use to use up some beans in the pantry and of course your leftover turkey from Thanksgiving or the holidays to make something completely different. You can enjoy for lunch or dinner. This would be a nice option for game day. Maybe have a couple of different versions of chili or just have a little healthier option for your luncheon. So for toppings and garnishes, I like to add a little cheddar cheese. Maybe a dollop of some sour cream. Squirt of lime is really good with this as well. And then some fresh parsley or cilantro works really nicely. Sprinkle that over the top. And then a really tasty option to serve with this would be some delicious crusty Dutch oven bread. So let's have a taste. So delicious. That turkey just takes on the flavors of those nice chili spices that we added. The cumin, the chili powder, and the oregano. So delicious. And adding the little bit of cheese and sour cream and that fresh lime juice and the fresh parsley or cilantro just gets that little freshness, which is really tasty in the fall or winter months when I tend to crave a nice chili. Well, I hope you enjoyed our time together in the kitchen where we use some Thanksgiving or holiday leftovers for making this delicious turkey chili. I've also heard this being called white lightning chili, but either way, it's flavorful and a great use of leftover turkey. If you'd like more inspiration on how you can use leftovers to create other entrees or desserts or other items to enjoy, you can check out my videos on those topics. Well, if you're new to the channel or haven't done so yet, I'd really appreciate you subscribing. If you enjoyed this or any other videos that you watch, please give them a thumbs up. Well, I hope you're having a great day and enjoy this recipe yourself. See you next time. Take care.